many of you guys have this blueprint on your seat right now? Yes. Make sure everybody has a blueprint. I'm going to teach you guys. How many of you guys have ever already done a blueprint? Raise your hand. Okay, I'm going to teach you how I do a blueprint. Is that cool? Yes. So for the agents that are in the room that have been around for a while, you're going to learn how to do a blueprint, how I do it. You can take notes on that. For those of you that have, are brand new, this is what we do with you. This is the very first step. I'm going to go through it very quickly because I want to get to Tim Her. Does that sound good? Yes. Cool. So first and foremost is why did we do this circle up the chairs in the room? We haven't done that in the past. Would you guys agree with that? Yes. So the reason why we did that, you guys, is here's the key. After the briefing, we want to circle up and sit down because there's, would you guys, you guys understand that obviously we feel obligated to share this opportunity with people. We take time out of their busy schedule to have them come drive all the way out here and sit here. And after the presentation, the worst thing we could do is just stand up and go outside. Because what does stand up mean? I'm leaving. Like if you're in a movie theater and you just stand up, what does that mean? Everybody's leaving, right? What if everybody stood up in the movie theater and then you guys know when like the, the, the credits start going and then, and then you see something about to come up, everybody sits back down? Because they know something's about to happen after the credits? That's, that's the key, you guys. So we want to make sure, for those of you that are new in the room, we don't usually do this chair circle up. Um, and that's something new that we're starting right now because we want to make sure that we sit everybody down so that they know and they could be prepared and their perspective is, okay, I'm going to be here for a little bit and I could get my questions answered instead of me running out of the room. You guys see that? Yeah. So that way we could spend time with them and actually support them. You know what I mean? The, the first impression of you is, okay, sign up. Okay, let's go out. You know, I'm out of here. That's not good. Let's the first impression be, here, let's sit down. I want to answer your questions. I want to support you. And you're not going to fill out the app. Give me the app. I'm going to fill it out for you because this is how much support that you're going to have in this. And you don't even have to use your pen. You guys see that? That's the key. So that's what we want to keep doing after every briefing. So just make sure whoever, if you're a leader, just do your own circle up. If you only have four or five guests, just do your own circle up. We don't want Alan LeGuantin to go out there and have to circle up with his whole entire team's guests. You guys get that? Like, that's half this room. He can't talk to half the room. You guys catch that? So we want to make sure that everybody steps up, everybody becomes a leader, everybody gets comfortable at talking to guests and not pulling their leg or yanking their arm or trying to sell or convince them into doing it. Just being comfortable answering questions and taking temperature. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. So that's what we want to start. Right here is the blueprint, you guys. I'm fired up about the blueprint and I'll just share with you guys right now. This is where I sell most of my packages. Some, some, just so you guys know, most of the time when I get an agent started, I don't sell a, it's not every time that I sell a 550 or a 1450 or a 1699 pack right when they get started because they're still kind of like on the fence because they know what we do but they haven't seen how we do what we do. Do you guys agree with that? And they probably didn't catch during the presentation the incentive of actually getting a package. So what I do is I just show them that I'm going to support them no matter what they do. It doesn't even matter if they signed up. I did a blueprint with five people at Coffee Bean the other day. Some of you guys were there. None of them were in the business. None of them were even signed up. And this is what I said. I don't care if you do secret or not. I'm just here to support you and help you and turn your dream machine back on. Because most people die at age 21, but they're buried at age 65. Most people, they turn their dream machine off because of what society tells us what we can and can't do. You guys see that? So I just want to open their dream machine and just turn it back on. I don't care if they're going to do secret or not. I, it's not about that. It's about just helping people. That's what I'm fired up about. And so that's what I do. I grab the blueprint. And what's the first thing? 90-day skin challenge, right? So I just ask them, hey, do you have back knee, acne, crack knee, calf knee? What you got? <laughs> you guys see that? And I just get them to write, you got funky feet, what do you got? You don't have to tell me, right? just write it down, you know what I mean, just write, I won't look, you know? And you, later you can tell me, hey, my friend's got funky feet, what should you use? I know that's you, you know what I mean, right? But it's okay, let them write it down, and here's the key. Here's the biggest thing for me is my before and after picture. That's huge. To be able to have acne and then not have acne and have it on a photo, when I'm at a wow party and they can see I still don't have acne, that works very well, by the way. You guys catch that? I'm not Photoshopped. You can't Photoshop a human being. You guys catch that? So that's why you guys want before and after pictures of yourself, not just other people, okay? They need to see that, and that's why we want to do that. The second thing is a 90-day financial goal. I want you guys to write down right now, in the next three months, what is your goal? For me, I just wanted an iPhone. I'll just be real, I had a Cricket phone, and it changes the number every two weeks, every time I re-registered and paid my bill, right? And I just wanted an iPhone. I wanted one of those smartphones. I, I actually, I think the smartphones are stupider. It's harder to use. I don't know. But anyways, 
right? I just want an iPhone. What is it for you? Maybe you just want to make your money back on the package that you bought. Maybe you want to just pay your car payment for the next three months with the extra money. I want you guys to write it down right now. What is it that you want in the next 90 days, okay? And that's what we're going to shoot for. The next question we're going to ask you guys is one year. What do you see yourself one year from now? Now, here's how I open people up and I, I get them to dream a little bit is here's the deal. I don't care what you think you're going to be a year from now. I want to know what you want to be a year from now. With your challenges and obstacles, let's just say you didn't have any and you could pick your life, your lifestyle a year from now, what would it look like, right? Who would you be helping? Where would your money be going, right? W would you be on vacation? Where would, you, where would you visit? Would you have a house or would you have an apartment? Would you have a car? What kind of car? Would you have a motorcycle? Would you be paying your wifey's rent? What, what would you be doing with your money, right? And I just want to know a year from now, what would make you feel comfortable? That's the question. What would you be comfortable with a year from now financially? And that's the question. I want you guys to write that down right now. A year from now, where do you see yourself a year from now? Where would, not with the challenges and obstacles. I know we all have work and we have kids, like they're a disease, like we have all this stuff, challenges, whatever it is that you feel is holding you back from getting these things. I'll tell you right now, the only enemy is the inner me, is that self-talk. It's that apathy, that natural human instinct common to us all where we seek a comfort zone in which nothing ever changes. The only thing that, that is going to stop you from going out there and being successful is yourself. I'll tell you right now, we have the same products and the same comp plan as Tim Hur. He makes 200 grand a month. You guys see that? What's the difference? He just fought himself and he won the battle. You guys see that? So we just got to fight that battle with ourselves every day. And let's dream a little bit bigger. The next one is the five-year goal. You guys see how it says why? W-H-Y? Yeah. Why is an acronym for what's hurting you. That's, this is, this right here, I'm going to tell you guys, in everything in life, there's ups and downs. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. So there's going to be months in your business where you're making 10 grand a month. There's going to be months where you're only making $1,000 a month and it's going to piss you off. So what is it that's going to hold you in this business and, and keep you grounded and not have you going out there like the coat guy, like, hey man, I got bracelets over here. I got tickets over here, right? What's going to keep you grounded in, into this opportunity? It's, it's your why. It's what's hurting you. For me, I was sick and tired of seeing my dad struggle every single day of his life, day in and day out. I had to watch him go to work and come home and go to sleep and then go to work and then come home and then go to sleep and then go to work and then come home and then go to sleep. I didn't see very much of him. And that pisses me off. You guys see that? Yeah. I don't want to do that to my kids. That's why I'm here. I want to be able to save my dad and retire him so he could enjoy the last 10, 20 years of his life. Doesn't that suck that he only gets 20? You guys see that? But at least he's going to get 20. I'm going to make sure he gets 20. You guys catch that? That's my why. That's what pisses me off. That's what brings tears to my eyes when I think about, oh, I only made $1,000 this month. Oh, I want to quit. But if I quit, I'm quitting on my dad. Can't really quit on my dad. If I feel like, oh, I'm not going to go to the meeting because I have a flat tire or because of this, because of that, I'm not going to go to the meeting and learn how to be successful. Here's the thing. You could just bring it up. Were you serious about what you told me about your dad? Were you want to retire him or were you just saying that? Uh, I, I was serious. Okay, cool. I'll see you at the meeting because I'm pretty sure you don't want to quit on your dad, right? Damn. Okay, I'll be there. That's what kept me in the game. That's what kept me not missing any secret academies. I never missed a regional. I never missed an international convention. Why? Because for my dad, that's why. You guys catch that? Yeah. So whatever that is for you, if, if, if a lot of people say, my why is my kids, but you still miss. You still miss Secret Academy. You still miss regionals. You still miss, it's not motivating you enough. You need to get a new why, because that why is not making you cry. There's got to be something else. I don't know what it is, but we got to figure out what that is. You guys catch that? Yeah. So let's write that down. That's number one is what is the tear jerker? What is it that makes you, motivates you, gets you fired up to wake up in the morning and go out there and actually do some business? The second thing is I want you to be selfish. I want you to think about yourself for once in your life. And I want you to dream big and think about if I had all the time and money in the world, right? Not all of it because then everybody else would be broke. That would suck. You can't go hang out with your homies because they're broke and you have all the money, right? <laughs> But here's the key. If I had time freedom and financial freedom, if I had them, all the money I needed and all the time I needed, 
what would you spend your time doing every day? Because now it comes down to, I'll just tell you guys right now, I got to a point where I was making a lot of money, but I was more unhappy than I've ever been in my life when I was making a lot of money. I was actually happier when I was on EBT cards. And that's why I went to Bible college. It's because I had to figure out what is my purpose, because once you have enough money and time, life starts to change and you start to think about what's really important in life. Maybe it's my purpose. What, the, what is my purpose? I don't know. I should probably figure that out. Maybe that's that empty space inside of my soul right here that I can't figure out what my purpose is. I should probably figure that out so I feel better about my life. And that's when you find out your purpose. But we got to get the money out of the way. You guys catch that? Yeah. So whatever it is, think about your purpose. Start thinking about your purpose. Start thinking about if you had the money and the time, what would you spend your time doing? Where would you travel? Who would you hang out with? Who would you tithe to? Who would you give money to? What, what would you do? Figure that out and write it down. You guys catch that? Is that good? Yep. Okay, cool. The next thing, very simple, is obviously you give them their, in, their website information. This is very simple stuff. You give them their sponsor and their leadership. But here's the key, right? This is where I focus on most. Now, most people, they take the blueprint and they confuse the hell out of new people. Here's what most of us do when we first get started, because we don't know. We show them superstar. We show them the PC pool. We show them how to go bronze and how much BV it takes to go bronze on each leg and what to do to go Royale. And here's how you get the car bonus. And they're like, yeah, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Guess what a confused mind does? Nothing. Nothing. So here's what I do. I don't care. All this, I just say, hey, yeah, it's going to be fun. You're going to get an iPad or $200 bonus, and we're going to get you a car bonus. But I don't, let's not think about that right now. The only way you could get there is you have to go superstar. So let me educate you on superstar. Here's what I do. I grab this, and I say, here's the incentives for going superstar. Here's how you do it. Number one, you have to get the 550 package or above, or have 300 personal volume through customers. Okay. 550 package or above is the easiest way, so I just tell them to do that. And then right here, you just get one 550 package or above and one 550 package or above, and you go superstar. Now, why would you want to go superstar as a new person? Let me educate you on why you would want to go superstar. Number one, if there was $200 on the ground, would you pick it up or just leave it there? Pick it up. So we're going to give you an extra $200 bonus just for going out there and going superstar. Number two is your enroller bonuses. When you sell a 150 package, you only make $15. Did you guys know that? off of the bonus. This isn't, this is, there's other ways we make money, but the bonus that you get off the package, you only make 15. The 550 package, you only make 50. The 1450, you only make 150, and the 1699, 150. But if you go superstar within your first 28 days of being in the business, right, or if, you go, if you've been in the business and you missed it, as long as you go superstar, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna unlock, your enroller bonuses are gonna double for the rest of your life in the company. Does that make sense? So yeah, I would definitely rather take 300 than 150, of course. So yeah, I want to go superstar. Here's what you have to do to go superstar. You have to have the 550 package or above. You guys see that? This is where they start understanding, oh, I need to get a package. You guys catch that? So it just makes sense. Here's the last thing I circle is their 28-day deadline. This is actually the most important thing to circle is figure out what is, from the day they got signed up, the day they started, what's 28 days from that day? I actually take it to 27, just to be safe. What is the 27th day? And this is your deadline to have your package, sell a package, sell a package, so you could go superstar, okay? So now they have a deadline. You guys catch that? So now that you're focused on going superstar and the new person, oh, that's easy, I just get two. How do I do that? How do I go get two? What do I have to do? Very simple, let me show you what you do. It's called S4S. You guys see that? And I walk them through S4S. What is S4S? Number one, you get yourself a package, 550 or above. Number two is you host two WOW parties per week, okay? Number three is have at least three guests at each of these two WOW parties per week. And you do that for four weeks in a row. Now, most people think, oh, I have to have two WOW parties at my house, WOW parties for my prospects and my contacts, two a week for four weeks. I don't know if I know that many people. That's not what it's about. It's about you doing one or two. I've only had one or two at my house, just so you guys know. And from those one or two, I probably have about 10 to 15 a day going on in the organization. Because I just had two, I had some people sign up, and now the S4S isn't with me. I'm in their living rooms. I'm looking at the color of their carpet. If you guys don't know your team's color of their carpet, you ain't doing it right. You're not supporting them. If you don't know their dog's name and their daughter's name, you're not doing it right. You're not supporting them. You guys see that? Don't expect them to do it. You got to go do it for them. 
Your, your job in this business as a sponsor is to help your new person hit superstar. It's not their job. New people in the room, you can feel great because it's not your job to go superstar. It's your sponsor's job to help you go superstar. You guys see that? And by them, here's the key, I don't want you to use it as a crutch though. Just because they're gonna help you go superstar doesn't mean that you sit back and just, oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, $200 bonus, done. I want you to take notes as if you have to do this for your team, because guess what? When you sign two people up, guess who has to help them go superstar? So you better learn it pretty quick. You guys catch that? Yeah. Very simple. I want you guys to understand that. And then obviously you get them the information that they need to be able to plug into stuff. Here's what I give them. I give them the, the simulcast, right? The, everybody write down basicagenttraining.com, okay? Backslash webinar. Every Sunday at 7 p.m., go to basicagenttraining.com backslash webinar. We have a live training with six and seven figure increments. Actually, a seven figure incrementer hosts the training and you get to watch it live. If you just go to basicagenttraining.com, you could watch the replay if you have work at that time or church, okay? Cool? Here's the second thing I give them, team calls. I don't give a new person the team call yet because usually the team call, we talk about some high level type stuff. They don't need to be confused and hear all that. They just need to hear the, the vision cast, right? I give them this once they hit superstar. You guys catch that? I just want them to focus on superstar. The next local secret event, very simple, every Wednesday, right here in this room at Handlery Hotel, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. I just have them write that down in the location. Next international event. Guess what the next international event is? Peak. Peak. You guys see that? You always promote the next event. The next event is peak. We can't promote Ignite right now because we have an event before that event. You guys catch that? We don't want to confuse people. Peak is where, where it's at right now, okay? So I showed you all that, that is huge. Obviously you go through this, you get their contacts. Now here's what I do, I get, who is the people, your chicken list, the people that you're scared to contact? Who are the people that, the doctors, the lawyers, the coaches, the teachers, the centers of influence, these are the people that I want them to talk to first because they're the easiest people to talk to. They think it's their hardest, but it's actually the easiest because they could just fluff their ego. It's very simple. You got real estate agent Bob. He's successful. I'm scared to approach him because he's going to call it one of those things. You know what I mean? Like he's one of those types of things, a chicken list type of dude. How do I call him? Very simple. Hey, Bob, I really look up to you, man. I don't know if you know that, but you're already successful, obviously. I'm not yet. I was wondering if you could do me a favor, bro. I'm working on a business project. I just want you to take a look at it so you could give me your opinion on it. Is that cool? Is he going to say no to that? No. You're just asking for he's going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll give you my opinion, right? That's what he's going to do. You guys see that? But let me give you an easy invite for inviting people to your wow party. Obviously, the point of doing the blueprint is to book the wow party. Now, a lot of you guys book two wow parties. I know we've preached that from stage, and it makes sense. Okay, I get it. But here's what I've found, the breakage in, 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 in booking two right away, is if I book two, here's what's happened to me, and let me know if it's happened to you, I have a new person book two wow parties, one on Saturday, one on Monday. What happens is they invite for the Saturday one, people are flaking or whatnot, and they're like, oh yeah, well, I got one on Monday, so let's just cancel the Saturday one. And then we have the Monday one, and we book another one after that, because this one was canceled, and they're like, oh, they're flaking, we'll just cancel that, we'll do the Wednesday one. And it just becomes this big flaky thing. I only book one. One wild party, that's it. your one shot. I'm coming. This is the only time I'm coming. You better invite everybody in their mother, sisters, aunties, cousin, because this is the only time you're going to get me. You guys see that? Are they going to get me again? Probably. But you guys see that? I'm coming. This is it. I'm taking time out of my schedule. And here's what I do. I never have people flake on the wild party, and here's, here's how I do it, okay? I used to have a lot of wild party flakes. Now it happens very rarely. Very rarely, and it only happens if I don't do this one thing. And here's the one thing I do, is at the blueprint, I go through that. You see how quick I went through that? Like 10 minutes, right? And here's what I do. I focus most of my time teaching them how to invite, and then I sit there with them and help them confirm 10 to 12 guests before I walk away. Because if they have 10 to 12 guests confirmed already to come, and I tell them, okay, keep inviting, they're gonna be confident to invite, because if people say no, ha I got 12, doesn't matter, click. Right versus, hey, go invite, good luck, use the script I gave you. And they start inviting and they get no's and they're like, oh, and they call you like, I called everybody. Who'd you call? Bob and Phil. <laughs> you guys see that? So you need to help them go through and coach them and support them and teach them what to say, what not to say. I have people get started and the first thing they do is they screw it up. New people suck at this. I'll tell you right now, it, it's bad. 
right? But I don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. What I tell them is, wow, that, that was the most amazing phone call I've ever heard a new person do in my life. You, you're like a natural. You're the best. You guys see that? I just make them feel good. That's it. Make them feel good about the phone call so they, could make, they feel good about making another phone call. You guys see that? And I just sandwich it. Here's the coaching. Man, that was a great phone call. Here's what I would change. But man, that was a great phone call. You guys see that? You coach them in the middle of the sandwich. You guys got to make, got to make a good sandwich so they could swallow it. You guys catch that? So that's what I do. Here's what I teach them. Hey, I only got a second. I just tell them to write this down. I only got a second. What are you doing Sunday at 7? This is, this is the day and time of your wow party. Why do I have them say that? Is because if you say, I only got a second, if they start asking questions, like I said, man, I only got a second. I can't, I can't answer questions right now. I only got a second. But what are you doing Sunday at 7? Now, why would I tell them to ask that first? Because most new people, when they get started, the first thing they want to ask people is, hey, man, I'm having this thing Sunday at 7, business project. I was just wondering, can you do me a favor? Cruise over, support me as a friend. Can you be there? Nah, bro, I got ballet practice. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right? Like ballet, right? Yeah, Tupac did ballet, bro. What you talking about? Right? You guys see that? And so and here's how you get them to not do that. Is you say, hey, man, I only got a second. What are you doing Sunday at 7, bro? Nothing. Got them. You guys see that? You can't make an excuse now because you just told me you're not doing anything. So you can't say ballet practice because you already said you're not doing anything. So don't try to lie to me. You guys see that? So very simple. I only got a second. What are you doing Sunday at 7? You know how, and here's where I sh you share your why. This is the best invite I've ever seen, and it works for inviting to a PBR or a WOW party, okay? Here's, here's, so you know how I've always wanted to retire my father from working. I'm sick and tired of seeing him struggle. He's 65 years old. He sees no way to retire. And you know how I've always wanted that Jeep? Yeah. Well, I think I finally found a way to be able to help my dad and get the Jeep. And I, was, I just wanted to you know, share it with you. Can I count on you as my friend just to be there and support me and come take a look at it? You guys see how easy that invite is? Very simple. Now, if they're girls, it's just like, dude, free facials, you know what I mean? Whatever. But dudes, it's a little harder sometimes. You guys catch that? So it's very simple. Can I count on you as my friend family to be there to support me? That's the last thing you say to them. Just to get them to buy in, yeah, I'll be there. You guys see that? Yeah. Is that a pretty easy invite to teach somebody at a blueprint? Yeah. After you teach them, you have the points, you sit there and you watch them make phone calls. Here's what I do. Who's going to make the phone call, me or you? Because somebody's doing it. Yeah. And I'll usually have them Call the easiest person. Who's the easiest person you know, like your brother, sister, your best friend? Somebody that you know is not going to say no. Okay, and I have them call that person first so they get, kind of get in the game with the training wheels on. You guys see that? Huge. Peak. Now, why would you want to go executive? Obviously, to go to peak. Now, once they go superstar, I don't teach them how to go executive until they hit superstar. Please, at your blueprint, don't try and tell them, hey, go executive, go executive. They just need to know about superstar right now. You guys see that? Get them focused on the little things. And here's what, Jacob Collette, stand up real quick, Jacob. Everybody give this guy a hand. I'll just tell you what happened to him. All I taught you how to do is superstar, right? You didn't even know what executive was. We went out there and did some sit downs. He went executive and he's like, what's executive? You guys see that? So by default, just because he was jacked up about superstar, we went out there and did some meetings and he went star, superstar, and executive in the same day. So give it up for Jacob, huge. Peak is huge, you guys. Obviously, it's an advanced network marketing training. It takes you from an amateur to professional. Why do we have to throw a meeting where, where you have to be qualified to be there, like at the executive rank? It's because there's babies in the room. You guys see that? We can't feed steak to babies. You guys understand that? There's people that are new in the room. There's certain things that we can't tell you because we don't want to confuse you because a confused mind does nothing. You just need to focus on superstar and S4S, right? right? And so what this event is for is you need to prove to us that you're not a baby by going executive. Once you go executive, we're going to give you the information to actually go out there and become a ring earner. You guys catch that? From amateur to professional. So all you've got to do is go executive. What's executive? Executive is just getting 1,000 BV on your left and 1,000 BV on your right. Now, for those of you that are new in the room, don't even just close your ears and close your eyes. All you need to think about is superstar. Don't think about this. I'm talking to the people that have already gone superstar, okay? The new people, just don't even look at this, okay? I don't want to confuse you. Just don't pay attention to it. You're just going superstar, okay? So executive game plan. As soon as somebody hits superstar, I think the reason why a lot of people don't hit executive after superstar is they celebrate too long. Yay, I'm a superstar! Three weeks go by, and then on the fourth week, the BV drops, and they have to restart to actually hit executive. Some of you guys don't even know that, right? And so I'm going to educate you on it right now. 
Here's what happens. Let's say that you, how do you go executive? You have to be a superstar first. So new people go superstar. You have to do that first, okay? You have to hit superstar. Let's just say this person went superstar, okay? This is how they went superstar. They went out there, they had a 550 package that they personally enrolled, and this guy personally enrolled his mom for the 1450. So it's not just your personal packages that you sell, it's anything that you or your team does counts towards executive. You guys catch that? Yeah. Or any other rank for that matter, okay? So let's say that you had a 550 and a 1450. This kind of looks like Jacob Collette, by the way. The total volume for the week one is 1200 BV. Wow. Why? Because you have 900 BV for the 1450 and 300 BV for the 550. You guys catch this? Yeah. So together you have 1200 BV. Now the other leg only sold a 550. That means there's only 300 BV here. So when a superstar hits, the first thing I do right away is game plan. We need to teach you how to go executive now because after four weeks, this volume is gonna disappear and you have to restart from zero again if you don't do it quick. You guys catch that? Yeah. So watch what happens. This is how much BV you get for selling a 150 pack, 75. This is how much BV, 550, 300, 1450, you get 900 BV, 1699, you get 1000 BV. Make sure you guys know that and you write it down because this is key. If we were to take these people, your goal is to get 700 more BV in this leg so you could go executive. You guys catch that? But you have to do it by week four. We're already at the end of week one and this is what's happened. You have three weeks left to get 700 BV. Do you guys follow this? Yes. If you do it in five weeks, what happens? No executive. You have to do it within a rolling four weeks. Let me explain. Here's four weeks, okay? Within a rolling four weeks, week one, you have 1,200 on the left, 300 on the right. Week two, right now, it's not even week two yet. That's next week, next Wednesday. You guys catch that? So that's zero BV right now, for right now. You got zero BV on the week after that, and then a the week after that, zero BV. So what we need to do is when you hit week five, week one disappears. And now the only BV you could count is week two, three, and four. You guys see that? And five. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yes. It's a rolling four weeks that you have to collect the BV to hit the rank. Here's what people do. They hit superstar, they get jacked up, excited, and they celebrate for three weeks. And they say, I'm gonna go executive. And then the, this week, this BV falls off and they don't hit it because now they only have this much BV and this much BV. You guys see that? So we need to, as a community, come together. When somebody hits superstar, we need to explain to them what they need to do to go executive. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, awesome. I just want to make sure you guys understand that. Here's different ranks. How do you go bronze? Is you pop one executive on your left, one on your right, two total, you'll hit bronze. If you pop three executives on your left, three executives on your right, you'll hit royale and get your $500 a month car bonus. And it just keeps going. Four on the left, four on the right to go silver, seven, seven to go gold, and it just keeps going. We don't need to get that deep. Let's just focus on superstar, executive. You guys catch that? And get into peak. <laughs>